today. Um, again, on uh, this item 26, this is our uh, statutory required uh, land manager review team report. Um, well, this is of statutory required, but <coughs> land manager review team statutory required. Um, so, back in January, um, I brought to this board a 2018, fiscal year 2018. Um, basic summary of our activities which we use to do this uh, land management review team. Um, we invite the public, citizens, other agencies to attend. Actually, I think last month, uh, Mr. Roth mentioned that he attended and showed and, and the woman around came as well. Uh, we had another good, a good year. Um, the review team occurred on March 27th. We held it in the Santa Fe River Basins. Uh, Santa Fe River Basin. We visited a couple of tracts of land during that review. Uh, what we asked for everyone to do is basically score us on a variety of uh, management activities and statutes. Uh, we have nine strategies in our management plan that you'll approve, as well as two statutes that are required to be scored upon uh, this year. Our eight strategies received an average score of 1.58, which is slightly higher than last year. And our two statutory requirements got a 1.63 and a 1.75, which is also higher than last year's uh, scores. And what this all means or signifies is that these activities uh, completed in 2018 met or generally exceeded the governing board's management strategies and statutory requirements. So if you're interested in kind of seeing what some of the folks score, how the scores fell out and some of the comments the uh, public made, uh, that starts on WLR9, which is our Excellence and Land Management Scorecard we used during that review team. And uh, generally, that's uh, it, it was a good, a good year. So I'll uh, take any questions. Any questions from the board? I'll do a great job. Definitely a team member. Thank you.